What are you doing this weekend, James? It will be hot, so I'm going to the lake to cool off. Will you swim at a place with a lifeguard? Probably. Lifeguards help swimmers stay safe. That's right. When did you learn to swim? I learned when I was about four years old. Good for you. If you learn to swim early, it will be better. I know a great place to play in the water at the lake. It's far away from everything. Not many people know about it. But there's no lifeguard there, right? I wouldn't choose to swim there. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to swim there. If an accident happens, help can't get there quickly. When there is an accident, you want help right away. In summer, it's fun to cool off in the water. You can swim and play with family and friends. When you want to swim, always go to a place with a lifeguard. Lifeguards watch swimmers and protect them. Don't choose a place far away from everything. If an accident happens, help cannot get to you quickly. Does everyone in your family know how to swim? If they don't, they should learn. If people learn to swim early, it will be better. Hello everyone, welcome to another great day here at Let's Talk in English. My name's Pauline. We're glad to have you. My name is Garrett and today we have a safety lesson. That's right, it's a water safety lesson. And Pauline, I'm glad you're here to help us today with this lesson. Oh yeah, why is that? Well, you love doing water activities, so you must know a lot about water safety, right? Oh, thanks. Well, yeah, I guess I do. I grew up swimming, so learning about water safety was just part of growing up. Oh, yeah? How old were you when you learned to swim? Really young. I think I was four or five when I learned to swim. Wow, that is young. When my brother was three or four years old, he ran into a swimming pool but he couldn't swim. Oh, scary, that's dangerous. Yeah, thankfully my mom saw him. She jumped into the pool with all her clothes on and she saved him. Wow, okay, yeah, that's one big water safety lesson. When kids are playing near a pool, river, or lake, you need to watch them very closely. Right, but water safety isn't just something to worry about for little kids, right? That's true. Adults can get hurt in the water too, so everyone needs to think about safety when they are in or near the water. Well, summer is a great time to enjoy the water, so it's also a good time to learn more about this. I agree, but before we talk more, let's learn our keywords from Sonia for today. Here she is. Hello. This summer will be very hot. James is going to the lake and be cool. So I'm going to the lake to cool off. 片语动词 cool off 就是使凉爽、冷却。James 说，救生员维护泳客安全。Lifeguards help swimmers stay safe. 名词 swimmer 就是游泳的人、泳客。Tina 说，她不会选择在没有救生员的地方游泳。I wouldn't choose to swim there. 动词 choose 就是选择。James 说：“如果意外发生，人烟稀少的地方很难快速获得救援。If an accident happens, help can't get there quickly。名词 accident 就是意外，意外发生需要即刻救援。副词 quickly 就是迅速的、立即的。What are you doing this weekend, James? 
It will be hot, so I'm going to the lake to cool off. Will you swim at a place with a lifeguard? Probably. Lifeguards help swimmers stay safe. That's right. When did you learn to swim? I learned when I was about four years old. Good for you. If you learn to swim early, it will be better. Pauline, do you like hot weather? Oh no, I hate hot weather. Really? But you like water activities so much. Aren't they more fun on hot days? Oh well, yeah, I guess you're right. Hot weather is great if you can be at the ocean, lake, or river. But I don't like hot weather if I'm walking around the city. Okay, that makes sense. So, are you going to go to the beach or the lake this weekend? It's going to be hot. Actually, I think Josh and I are going to do a river hike. Oh, that sounds fun. And the weather should be good for it. It will be hot. That's right. It will be hot. Oh, and that's today's calendar, calendar phrase. It will be hot. It will be hot. 天气会很热 Let's go outside. It will be hot. Let's take a hike. It will be hot. Let's ride bikes. It will be hot. <sighs> okay, let's wait until it gets cooler. Yes, let's wait until winter. <sighs> It will be hot. It will be hot. 天气会很热 Well, Pauline, you aren't the only one who enjoys water activities when it's hot outside. Many people enjoy them in the summer. Of course. In fact, James is going to the lake to cool off this weekend. Oh, that's right. Which lake is he going to? Will he go to Blue Lake? Ah, good question. I don't know. Okay. Well, will James go there by himself? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, what do you know? I know Sonia wants to talk to us. Right, Sonia? <laughs> Tina 问 James 是否会在有救生员的地方游泳 Will you swim at a place with a lifeguard? 这个句子用助动词 will 开头，形成一个 yes no 问句，意思是你会这样吗？你会不会做某事？例如，杰克，你晚餐前会到家吗 ？Will you be back before dinner, Jack? 或是大卫这次会准时出现吗 ？Will David be on time this time? 我们再举一个例子。我们这次出差，戴比会和我们同行吗 ？Will Debbie come with us on this business trip? Okay, so we don't know which lake James is going to, or if he's going with anyone. So, what did James say about his plans? Well, he did say he'll probably go to one with a lifeguard, so that's good. Yeah, James is a strong swimmer, but even strong swimmers can get in trouble in the water. Right, lifeguards are there to make sure everyone is safe, and if something happens, the lifeguards can help. Oh, hey, did you hear how old James was when he learned how to swim? He was like you. He learned how to swim when he was very young. Yeah, he was also about four years old when he learned to swim. That's great. If you learn to swim early, it will be better. Yeah, it definitely helps. If you learn how to swim early, you won't be as scared of the water. Yeah, and if you learn how to swim, you'll be safer when you're around water. So the earlier you learn, the better. I agree. Oh, and Rebecca agrees that we use some good sentences. In fact, she is ready to practice using some like that with us now. Hello, friends. It's time to do something fun. It's time for you to use it. Well, if you want to say that if you do one thing, something else will happen, you can use today's use it. Let's look at some examples. First, if you study hard, it will be better. Or, if you practice more, it will be easier. Remember, 
the best way to improve is to practice. So don't be afraid to use it. Thanks, Rebecca. And friends, if you practice, you will get better. So go ahead and maybe make some sentences like that during the break, and then we'll be right back. Don't go away. Let's talk in English. Ten minutes every day. That's the way. Welcome back, friends. Summer is almost here, so it's time to find some safe, fun ways to cool off in the heat. I like to go to the movie theater or the bowling alley in the summer. Those places always have good air conditioning. Oh, good idea. Although I really like going outdoors in the summer. It's a great time to enjoy water activities. Well, hey, water safety is what we're learning about in today's conversation. Do you want to learn some more? Let's go back to it now. I know a great place to play in the water at the lake. It's far away from everything. Not many people know about it. But there's no lifeguard there, right? I wouldn't choose to swim there. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to swim there. If an accident happens, help can't get there quickly. When there is an accident, you want help right away. So James plans to go to the lake to cool off this weekend. Sounds like a good plan to me. It will be hot this weekend. Yeah, it should be the perfect weather for a day at the lake. But I don't know about this place James wants to swim at. Why? He said he'll probably go to a place with a lifeguard. Well, yeah, he said that before the break, but now he's talking about a lake that's far away from everything, one that not many people know about. Oh. Then it won't have a lifeguard. That's not great. Right, especially if he wants to go there alone. Good point. Even if he was just going fishing or hiking, he shouldn't go somewhere far away from everything all by himself. Exactly. Oh, hey, Sonia, you wanted to say something about this, right? James 知道一个很棒的湖，没什么人知道，又很遥远。It's far away from everything. Far away 指的是很遥远的意思。例如 ，That restaurant is too far away. Let's go somewhere closer. 那餐厅太远了，我们去近一点的吧。Far away 加上介系词 from， 后面接上要比较的项目。例如，大卫和家人距离遥远。David is far away from his family. 或是这个小镇距离六十六号高速公路很远。This village is far away from Highway sixty six. Thanks, Sonia. We really appreciate it. So, why is it a bad idea to go by yourself somewhere far away from everything? It's nice to get away from the crowds and. Be in nature. Well, of course, but you need to be safe about it. Accidents happen, and when an accident happens, you want help to come quickly. So you need friends with you who can help you, and you need to tell people where you're going. Yeah, and even then, you still need to be extra careful. It's still probably not a good idea to go swimming without a lifeguard. Yeah, and. Better safe than sorry, right? Exactly. Just like we said in our boating lesson, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. We talked about some water safety tips in that lesson too. Yeah. Can you remember some of those safety tips? Uh, let's see. Well, wear life jackets. Everyone on a boat should wear a life jacket. Definitely. But friends, life jackets aren't just for boats. Good point. You can also wear a life jacket when you go swimming. Yeah, when my husband and I go snorkeling, we often ask our friends to wear life jackets. Good for you. 
You also check the weather and the water conditions, right? Oh yeah, that's very important. But how can you tell if the water conditions are safe?、Mm, good question. If you're not sure about that. Then definitely swim at a place with lifeguards. Oh yeah, lifeguards do check the weather and the water conditions, so they can tell people if it's not safe to swim. Exactly. Well, hey, I think it's time now to review our keywords. Friends, make sure to say them along with us. Okay, we can practice together. Here's your first keyword for today: cool off. Cool off. Let's go swimming and cool off. Swimmer. Swimmer. Are you a good swimmer? Choose. Choose. You choose the restaurant for lunch. Accident. Accident. Ed had an accident on his bike. Quickly, quickly, let's walk quickly. We're late. All right, friends. Those are your keywords for today. Keep on practicing. And now let's quickly go over to our friends and watch our conversation one more time. What are you doing this weekend, James? It will be hot, so I'm going to the lake to cool off. Will you swim at a place with a lifeguard? Probably. Lifeguards help swimmers stay safe. That's right. When did you learn to swim? I learned when I was about four years old. Good for you. If you learn to swim early, it will be better. I know a great place to play in the water at the lake. It's far away from everything. Not many people know about it. But there's no lifeguard there, right? I wouldn't choose to swim there. Yeah, it's probably not a good idea to swim there. If an accident happens, help can't get there quickly. When there is an accident, you want help right away. It sure is. So let's cool off. Okay, but how? Let's go to the lake. We can swim there. Wait, is the lifeguard at the lake? Yes, there is a place with a lifeguard. Okay, great. Lifeguards help swimmers stay safe. That's right. And water safety is very important. I know. James, can you swim? Yes, I learned to swim when I was a little boy. Good. The sooner you learn, the better. That's right. I took lessons at the swimming pool. Well, good for you. How about you? Can you swim, Ginger? Yes, I learned to swim when I was a little monkey. Great. Where did you take swimming lessons? I took swimming lessons in the bathtub. <sighs> Very funny. It's true. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Question Time, a time to ask your questions and get some answers. Today, we're talking about summer jobs, and here to answer our question is Mr. Clive Saver. Hi, Clive. Welcome to the show. Well, it's great to be here, Clive. We have a question today from Phoebe Tai of Shinju, Taiwan. Phoebe writes. Summer is here, and I want to find a job. I want to help people. I am thinking of becoming a lifeguard, but I don't know what I need to be able to do. Can you help? Well, of course, Phoebe. I would be glad to help. I am a lifeguard. I work at a beach. It's a great job. Then you are the perfect person to answer this question. I guess so. Okay, so first, to be a lifeguard, you must be able to swim well. Oh yes, lifeguards protect people when they are swimming, so it is important that lifeguards can swim. Yes, you must be able to swim long distances, but you must be able to swim for a long time too. Hmm. 
Can you explain that some more? Well, sure. Sometimes when you go into the water to save someone, you need to hold on to them and swim in the same place for a long time. Ah, that takes a lot of strength and endurance. Nai Li. Endurance is someone's ability to do something hard for a long time. It can be hard to stay in one place in the water for such a long time. So it's something you need to practice. I see. Well, what else should a person prepare if they want to be a lifeguard? Well, a person should always know some first aid and emergency skills. Like what to do if someone stops breathing? Well, yes. Or if someone has hurt themselves very badly. Hmm. It sounds like there is a lot to learn before someone can become a good lifeguard. Well, there is. That's why I always suggest people take a class to be trained as a lifeguard. Once they pass the class, then they can get certified. That says they have the knowledge to be a good lifeguard. Hmm, good advice. Thanks for your help, Clive. I learned a lot. I hope you learned a lot too, friends. See all of you next time on Question Time. All right, friends, we hope you had a great water safety lesson with us today and that you're gonna have a great summer. There's lots of fun to be had in the water. There sure is. This is an important lesson. I hope you all are safe this summer. Oh, but I also wanted to talk about a couple English words we learned today. One, of course, is the word swim. That's right. And the past tense is swam. Today, I swim in the water, but yesterday, I swam. Now, there's lots of English words like this eat, ate, and we know it's hard, but keep on practicing. You'll get there. Yeah, just learn one at a time. So today, your new unusual past tense word is swam. I'm going swimming today. I like to swim. I swam at the lake yesterday. That's a good practice. You can practice doing verbs like that. That's right. And one more thing. Sometimes we talk about swimmers who are strong or weak. <laughs> yeah, but we'll say I'm a strong swimmer or I'm kind of a weak swimmer. And we don't mean physically strong. We just mean you're a good swimmer. Or if you say I'm a weak swimmer, that means I'm not very good at swimming. That's right. All right, friends, we hope you enjoyed today and that you'll join us tomorrow for another lesson right here on Let's, Let's talk, talk in, in English. English. Goodbye. Goodbye.